is it's... S3. Okay, this should be an interesting one. Because assuming yeah. it's, it's uh, Crystal Peach, I actually like this as Peach. I don't. I think this is a fairly even matchup. Oh, wait, oh he's going Sheik. Sheik. Fair enough. Fair enough. I think this is also a pretty good matchup for Sheik, so fair enough. Yeah. I can understand disliking it if the, if the Crystal starts pulling ahead a bit. Mm -hmm. And Sheik has good mobility in that sense, but... Yeah. Sheik is able to chase down uh, Crystal much better than Peach can. Even if Peach can come back from longer distances with, like, you know, turnips and whatnot. And also gets, like, Down Smash is really good because Crystal's spacey. Yeah. But Crystal's also, like, really hard to edge guard. And I feel like you just kind of want Sheik's sort of raw kill power as opposed to Peach. Mm -hmm. Oh my, no DI. I got <laughs> ripped apart. Yeah, we are seeing a very strong start here from S3. Alright, here's the start. Another combo. Only gets 24 right there. Alright, gets a grab. Oops, nothing off of that. Alright, some more damage. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can get an attack though. Yep. Something. Oh, oh my god. Oh, Alright, that's a great it. conversion. Switching to Zelda. Yeah, this is desperation mode. Yeah. This is where you gotta get something in. You gotta you gotta get some up smashes. You gotta, you know. You just gotta throw caution to the wind and basically. Oh my god! Face. S3's fucking diced him out! Yeah, S3 this dice, is. Bro, chopping change right now. My man's out looking like tossing his salad, pulling his card! Oh, oh my oh, lord! The snipe! The snipage! The card has been pulled right now. Like he's done. All right, that's death. a stock at least. Well, playtime's over. Some resilience from Amethyst, but it's way too little, too late. Honestly, this is right. looking very. That down smash was like the equivalent of letting a child hit you if you're like an adult. Like, you get one punch. Yeah. It's like, hey, let you get punched. Here's my punch back, and it's just taking three stocks. <laughs> I mean, it's like not really not the same. Like, it's, I'm sorry. I, I know inverted. I keep mentioning. I know I keep. I know I keep mentioning oh punching kids, but it, this, it, this it is another example. It be how it be. Just don't drag it. Sometimes some guys two matches do look like punching kids. Sometimes it, it is just, that bad. Like just don't drag attention to it. Just just fucking d d removed. That that game is a perfect example of ha having someone on the guest list and just removing them out of the venue. Like you just not even like hurt the person. You're just like we're gonna move you out. Just just slowly move out and goodbye. You're not in the building anymore. So yeah, put in her place. I will say on the side of all right. Here's the peach. I'll say on the side of S3, and I don't know if this is like something I don't personally understand, or maybe if it's just the other options are better. But I don't really see him moving forward after he hits a side B to try and like follow up with something. I feel like you could definitely get away with a side B up B. I feel like that's a pretty solid combo you can get for some extra damage. And I just don't in general see crystals using a lot of up B offensively, anyways. I understand up air is like better for like in terms of range and safety, but like up B is a very solid move for building some damage. So I feel like if Three. some crystals start implementing that, that could be interesting to see how the game plan mm -hmm. evolves from there. But that's just my personal yep. opinion. Yeah, there's a lot of subtlety in that situation. When it comes to a character that isn't fully developed, there's gonna be like, oh, this is how the character should develop, or this is how the character should develop, etc. Yeah. Et and and you mean, don't know, because again. You don't know what is preferable within the meta game. You don't know what the better characters are at that time. Yeah. The better players at that time. Like the meta changes based on not not specifically the best player, but the best like maybe four or five players. Generally. Yeah, the best couple. And then everyone players. else adapts around it. Then there's a meta game within the meta game. That's how it's supposed to work, right? Yeah. Like obviously the better, better characters are some of the better characters just flatly across the board, but like for example, like. Uh, this might be a specific for him, but when Pixel was beating everyone, and then people figured him out a bit, and then, like, not long after, I mean, like, briefly, at, like, right after he's out, right? Then yeah. Godly becomes the best in the world not long after. Like, there's a bit of a coincidence, you know what I mean? Like, like yeah. Godly did eventually get over the hump, but, like, you know what I mean, right? That's one of the, in theory, harder matchups, like, out of the way. And, then and also, Extra wasn't that active true. at the time. Yeah. And Extra, and keep in mind, this is when J-Mac wasn't that active, if you remember, like, initially. Like, so in the initial couple events, like, J-Mac was going, like, we one of those events, you know what I mean? And yeah. J-Mac just beat extra like every time back then. So when you know what I mean, like sometimes when a player just handles a character or a player head to head, then obviously like extra is beating everyone now, so it's obviously not the same. Right? Yeah. But you know what I mean? Initially, extra had to get over the hump and like get over the barrier. It took a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
but uh, you know what I mean? Like all, it's based on what is popular within the meta game, the better players. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like it's all based on that, and also how the players play. Also, not just the characters, but how those people play the character. You know what I mean? It's like a fucking yeah. Ima imagine if the meta game was like a really large matchup chart, essentially. Yeah. Like, the meta game is never yeah, solved is in a game unless we literally find no more developments in the game. Yeah. Like. Actually, we haven't had a patch in a while. Oh, okay, that's pretty clean. Yeah, I know we haven't had a patch in a while, but at, at some point in the near future, we're going to have a patch, so. Yeah. And so, um, right. Oops, second. Go on. I was going to say, like, eventually, like, characters that we think are, in theory, problematic could be knocked out a peg. And, but what will happen is that maybe those characters being knocked out a peg result in another character being buffed because they may have an easier time handling that character, as yeah. an example. Like, not even directly buffed by the developers or anything. They're just going to have a better matchup because one character got nerfed. Like it, or maybe it slightly helps that specific matchup, which means they're more viable in that sense, right? Yeah. It kind of reminds you of the predicament that the Brawl community had with Meta Knight, right? In the sense that if they keep Meta Knight alive, then most of the best players can keep sitting playing Meta Knight and Ice Climbers and shit. But if you ban Meta Knight and Ice Climbers, then in theory, this unlocks like 10 more characters. Like, it unlocks a couple more characters, yeah. right? You have characters like Wolf or Fox that can handle most of the metagame, but they can't beat MK or they can't beat Ice Climbers. Like yeah, yeah, those are like straight like 90. But it does buff matchups. the characters that like Meta Knight and Ice Climbers are supposed to like handle, but would be really toxic if they were played like all the time. Otherwise, like kind of right in the sense of like, for example, right. Part of the reason I think Hunter okay, this is a clean topic there. But part of the reason I think Hunter Box was able to be the best for. More or less three years. There were some periods where he wasn't the best even within that stretch, but let's say he more was, or less three years was yeah. because high key everyone was just playing Fox. Like everyone was going Fox during that mm -hmm. time. Like there was a period where people were trying to develop the characters. Like, obviously Zane developed Marth during that time. Obviously developed Yoshi. Axe won a major during that stretch. Like Wizzy. Wizrobe developed Falcon. Exactly. You know what I mean? But even these are like massive exceptions, right? Yeah. Like, those are especially around 2016, 2017, like everyone was playing Fox. Even when Hardbox was like behind Armada, like. Yeah. You still like I'm, I remember like Big House Five. His entire top 128 was Fox. It was outrageous. I think it was like KJH into Dark Atma, in, Dark Atma Fox, the secondary into Ice into uh, Ice, and Mango way. into Armada into Mutiny to Armada again or some like literally all Foxes. I think no it was Zoo as well. Zoo's Fox as well. Mm -hmm. Literally like all decent to good Foxes and you know what I mean like all, and beat all of them but, but Armada. I got second. Like, yeah. Well, all the same character essentially. Like, yes, obviously Fox is a very multi-layered character, but you have the proficiency in the matchup. You've played so many foxes, you know yeah. what most of them are gonna do, and they don't have as much experience versus you know a Jigglypuff of your caliber. So yeah. Same to an extent what happened with Zane Online. Like Zane Online would just play a bunch of foxes sometimes, just play Mango Falco. Like you know what I mean? Like Zane obviously was good in other matchups. Zane's not just someone who only Farms plays Fox matchup. Yeah. Like being Fox all the time is a benefit. Like that is a good thing. Mm -hmm. That's something that actually is like something you can commend people for. Being good at, I guess, the best character on average in the game. Not by a lot. Not like a convincing amount, but the overall best character in the game. Yeah. That is the most options, the most popular, the most varied, can do the most, and the most variety of matchups. May not even be the best character in the current meta, but like at least is like, you know what I mean? Like, is, yeah. is at that point the best character. You have to kind of like give plaudits to that. Yeah. So, uh, at least that's, that's just for me, at least. Like, yeah, you have to give commands for that, but like still beating, playing one matchup a lot, or at least maybe one or two matchups, is a benefit in that sense, right? But yeah. Right now, slight lead for Amethyst. Obviously, Amethyst kind of got rolled at the end of that game too, but slight lead for Amethyst. Yeah, this is looking to be a bit of a turnaround here in comparison. Potentially. Again, I'm not writing S3 out of this completely. Also, does S3 actually like it when we say S3? I don't think he. I don't think he really minds. I think if he did, he would probably say so. But I have like not, this, this, I've uh, right, like I don't know if you're saying SEMD or like SEMDD or something like that or like uh, I don't know I don't and know. I don't question it honestly. I just I just say S3 because that's I was also, just some outrageous never mind. But so, uh but SEMDD is like is that an N64 DD like type of thing or I got no idea. That's something you'd have to ask. Is him. there like a is there a player named just Sem with the three in EU or something like that? Is like he's like no the, no there is not. Some, <laughs> I was just like I'll try to be funny but uh. <laughs> That is an outrageous oh, no, no, no. no reason to go for that. <laughs> no, no, I get it, but Amethyst was playing hella aggressive that that uh Two stock that lead. approach there. Oh just straight sniper. <laughs> Mr. President. Oh there we go, that's there. Yeah, um 
yeah, I definitely get what you said about like how meta definitely shifts depending on who the top players are. Yeah. I think that definitely is like something that in NA like, I can feel. Like when AK was really super relevant, yeah. people pl practiced the Link matchup a lot, and then he just kind of stopped playing as much. And then mm -hmm. Two Hands came in, and AK also came back a bit, and both were playing a bunch of Link. And people had kind of forgotten how to play against Link because he wasn't yeah. really as much of a meta threat. I like to call this phenomenon the, uh, the, uh, the whole, the, what do you call it, like honeymoon period, I guess? Yeah, honeymoon like, phase. like, oh. That type of phase, right, where like you haven't played them in a while, mm -hmm. you to play a bit different. Yeah. You have to get used to their style again. But for, for them, like this is why I'm actually surprised Godly won so much in a row. Like he's, he's like six out of like been, seven he'd stars. Been around like, with, at least in that range for all of 2022, he was like, at the very least, like at the very very worst, he was on the verge of being a top five player. And then for most of it, he was top five, if not like. <laughs> Top three, or maybe, or like number one, you know. Because the thing to understand about that period when Gali, I think about like seven out of nine PRs or some crazy, or like eight out of ten PRs, it was some crazy, right? Yeah, it was some, it was some really crazy statistic. But like, even like fucking Prime Tiller wasn't doing fucking eight out of ten PRs. It was fucking, no. And his other two lost like a second and a third place. One of them was like who losing that mad grand final to J Mac, and the other was like that third place. I think it was a uh, Nightmare Dreamland or something like that. Yeah, or maybe it was yeah. like. Uh, we lost to JMI Sandbag. It was fucking outrageous. Like, oh, super no, uh, specific Flash, events. Flash Oblivion. That was it. Yeah. Oh, that was the one, right? Yeah. And the fucking the Dream Light, Nightmare Dream Light, I think it was the JMAC two set grand final. Yeah, it was the JMAC one there. JMAC kind of, kind of rolled, kind of stole that one. That was, that yeah. was outrageous. But, you know what I mean? Like, the, what makes that era. Okay, this is a convincing toss kind of pick. I like this kind of pick. I like the. Yeah, choice the there, way but, that Amethyst but, place was very strong there. But that was almost a, that was almost a JV three. But what I'm trying to say is that what makes that like not eight out of ten PR is that those are like back to back almost. Like the like, Gotti like and maybe skipped like one event in the entire stretch. Like yeah, what makes that? Because using sometimes when you win like when Pixel wins some events, sometimes Pixel maybe skips one event or maybe yeah, you know what I mean. Like sometimes you Pixel like break. You know what I mean? Like, Gali went to everything and won everything for like three months. It was actually crazy how, how little he was losing. Yeah. I casted a couple of those, like maybe four of those eight wins or something like that. It felt like Gali was just beating everyone, including Extrovert during that yeah. stretch. It was crazy. Like, when he won JV9, it was mad. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the thing is, I just don't think... If there was any, like, Ichigo counterplay being developed, people were not making it to him to, like, really showcase it. Or if they were, he was just so much better at adapting that, like, it was extremely difficult to, you know, feel that. Yeah, he, he could just, like, kind of take the adaptation people were doing and just kind of unadapt them on the fly. Like, pull up some crazy stuff. Also, that was a huge whip of stitch hits right there. Yeah, we are currently right now seeing uh, Amethyst, who has not really been entering super often until this event, and S3, who is kind of in the similar boat, but has been a bit more active in EU overall. Yep. Like, these nice. two have been in the scene for about the same time, at least, like, mm -hmm. during region lock, they were both, like, among the first couple people in 2021 to be here. Well, Amethyst was a bit later to the party there compared to S3, but Amethyst yep. was, like, arguably uh, better than S3 during that frame time. Mm -hmm. And so, like, they've been, they've been, like, relatively around the same skill level on average across these three years. Like, Amethyst was better at the beginning. S3 has been arguably better recently, but it, like, sort of evens yeah. out, you know? Yeah, so it's about the same level, right? But the thing is that... Yeah, I think, I think it's an interesting game. This is why this, this is... Like, Amethyst starting to adapt and it's still pretty close. It's not like, yeah. oh, SMD got fucking... Or, or they got fucking solved or something like that. Like, the general game plan clearly seems to be good. And that's... Ooh, that's a nice way to end that spot. Yeah, that is a good up there. Yeah. I I think it's just kind of interesting whenever players, like, don't enter for a while, and then they come back, and it's interesting to see, like, how much of that, like... Yeah, that is that is what I was talking about earlier, not to interrupt myself, but that side B into up B is something that I really, really wish was pushed a bit more with Crystal. I think it's super sick, for one, and I think it's also, like, a really, really good uh, kill confirm. I mean, that's, that's just my personal opinion, but I think, like, going for that after... 
at least as like a mix-up, depending on like, oh, are they going to like go for the up B or are they going to go for an up air after a side B? I think that's an interesting mix-up at the very least to kind of put in. I don't know how feasible it is. I'm just kind of theory crafting on the fly right now. But that's just my opinion. Mm -hmm. I, I agree with you on that one. Like, I, yeah, I agree with you on that one. Yeah. I don't know what I'll say really in that situation, but that's fair. Yeah. Oh, oh that, that, that was a situation. That was a situation. That is a that, no, that, look at that. That you is remember, a look, steal. You remember that situation? Not even just a steal. That's a fucking swing. That was a down tilt from Amethyst. Yeah, that should have. That been. Was a, that literally went from a stock lead to a stock deficit. Yeah. Amethyst has to close it now. He can't. S3's already racking up the damage the right damage now. The damage is going up. Yeah, he's out here, he's out here and it is not stopping. Rising. It is the opposite of Dogecoin right now. It is rising. Sheesh. Nair fair though. And now final stock for S3 as well. All but I'll say is that me me roasting Elon Musk is not the most controversial call out I've done on on a cast. I... But uh, you'll uh, not say which one it is. Uh, it happened to uh, people, a certain group of so people. So be it. So be it. Anyhow. A group of people, I'm not saying who, but a group of people in a certain collective of people roasted me for several days about my call out in a non serious tournament. But, uh, hey, so be it. Point. So be it, man. Yeah, that's it. Finally, this is really close right now. This is very serious. And this has to take has to take the game by the bull, bull of the horns. Yeah. It's going to run away from, from her. Yeah, this is very, very scary. Oh, oh no, no. Oh, that was. That's a, that, that was an opportunity. That's right, a disaster! Amethyst for some back airs? That's a, oh, that's a bit shoot, of a, that's a bit of a fault oh, there. Amethyst gave back the stage! Gets a turnip. These bombs Swish are blowing up these turnips. This is, oh, that could be that's it! game! That's an air, and that's gonna be it! S3 whims it. Goodness. That was getting really close right down to the wire right there, but S3 is going to take it out and prevent any opportunity for Amethyst to mount any sort of comeback right there. Good stuff, and he's gonna move on to top six, top six. and we'll see and, more uh, of him tomorrow. Good stuff from Amethyst, seventh place, good showing. Mm -hmm. Nothing to be ashamed of there, to be certain. Mm -hmm.